Like any CEO, I want to get more for less. I want to reduce the costs of my IT resources. I want to try and reduce the real estate involved with data centers. I want to reduce the energy costs for power and cooling. I also want to do as much as we can to utilize our own skills and capabilities to deliver these services. So the CEO's mandate was to clearly reduce our operating costs in terms of power, cooling, rent, um, the technology costs, while at the same time making sure we didn't sacrifice any of our, the quality of our operational services. Uh, we responded to that by doing a series of projects. The first was a data center consolidation, consolidating three data centers down into one in our headquarters, and subsequently following that up with a virtualization of our production environment, um, taking all of our physical servers and virtualizing them on a cloud infrastructure. So we couldn't jump directly into the production virtualization without a couple predecessor projects. Back in 2009, we did a big DR expansion where we used heavy virtualization for the first time uh, to virtualize our whole DR environment. In 2010, uh, we followed through with a data center consolidation project where we consolidated three data centers down to one. And then finally in 2011, uh, we were ready to implement the production virtualization and we selected the vBlock internal cloud infrastructure as the platform to do that. So, so far the transition has been quite smooth. We haven't actually had any unplanned downtime, just uh, uh, planned times for the physical to virtual migrating from the physical into the virtual environment. So that, that aspect has been pretty smooth. But there have been a couple challenges through the project. Um, so the first was during the design and proposal phase. Um, the, I challenged the team initially to make sure that none of the services degraded in performance. Um, and I, made, I guess I said that too strongly, and they came back with a massively over spec proposal, which was just too expensive. So we scrubbed it down, got that down to the right level. Finally, in operations, there are also some interesting, interesting challenges coming up. So first is around chargeback. In the virtualized environment, it's not really clear how much a certain server costs. Sometimes it can cost us almost nothing, and sometimes it can be very expensive to set up a new server. And we're working on how to charge that back to the right departments in a reasonable way. Um, Additionally, as, as many organizations, we already see the tendency towards VM sprawl because it's so easy to set up a new virtual server, so we wind up with more and more servers, and we have to control that. So service levels have improved in a number of different ways with these, pro with these projects. Um, regarding the data center consolidation, the new uh, consolidated data center is built to much higher redundancy specs than any of the previous data centers in terms of power, cooling, network connections, etc. And actually, since touch wood, but we've had no downtime at all. Uh, since we migrated to the new consolidated data center. So finally, regarding the vBlock, it's helped us in a number of different ways. So first of all, it has built-in hardware redundancy for all the servers that are running in that environment, whereas we used to just do clustering for the mission-critical environment. Um, the other ways it's helped, it's uh, actually proving to be faster and more performant than the old physical environment was for most of our applications, so that's great to see. Uh, I challenged the team with that at the beginning. Um, and finally, it's uh, helping us start up projects faster, uh, where we used to have to wait had a hardware uh, delivery lead time before we could start up a project. Now we can usually set up a dev environment in the existing hardware while we're waiting for any uh, additional procurement to happen. So it can save us a month or two off the beginning of new projects. That's already uh, come, to, come to our benefit a couple times. Lastly, within the data center itself, um, virtualizing the physical, to virtual has reduced our server space utilization by about 50%, so we freed up about 50% of our server racks, which was a, a much needed benefit for us. So moving on from here, our next steps, we want to see if and how we can leverage our new environment to speed up our disaster recovery times, um, because we have now a fully virtualized DR environment and a fully virtualized production environment, so we think we can find some synergies there with the disaster recovery plan and improve services without increasing any cost. Um, another area we're interested in is to see if we can leverage this new uh, internal cloud to, for some kind of VDI solution and improve our client computing environment as well as the data center. So did my CIO meet my requirements? Well, absolutely. We had three data centers reduced to one. Fantastic. The rent was also reduced by some 23%. And the rest of the space was utilized uh, to convert into revenue generating activities. Maintenance costs overall down by 10%, great news. Power consumption was also down by 14%, which not only helps our energy bills, but also helps our carbon footprint. So we achieved all of this without it compromising the IT service levels or increasing the IT budget in any way. I'm happy.